Earlier this year, I went to Dallas, Texas, and there was a women's conference that the Lord had showed me in a vision prior to even knowing that it was going to be happening and I knew that I needed to be there. Fast forward to the day of the meeting, I'm in there, we're doing the thing, and the person who's running the meeting decides to have each and every one of us come up to the front to, to you know, just share who we are and give a little bit of our testimony. Now at this point, I didn't know that I was gonna share the vision. I just was really nervous about having to get up and speak in front of all of them, but it was fine. I went when I felt like I could go, the Lord gave me strength and I did it. But when I got up there, I overwhelmingly felt the Holy Spirit. I began to just speak life back into these women and encourage them and I just felt the fire of the Holy Spirit. And as I'm speaking to them, the Lord brings to mind that vision. And I asked the woman who was putting this on, I told her in front of everyone, I know this is wild, but this is the vision that I was given by the Lord. And he's highlighting this woman to me right now. I would love to pray for her with you if you wouldn't mind took a minute and it's okay because i get it we got to test the spirit she took a second and she was praying and i just kept talking to the group as she was thinking about it and asking the lord and then she decides to go ahead and let us so we pull up that girl and um we go ahead and anoint her head someone had anointing oil and then we started praying over her as we did y'all chains started breaking off this woman i'm telling you she started wholeheartedly weeping women around us were wholeheartedly weeping and we were just in communion in unity together and the holy spirit started pouring into this room it's like a, a switch had been flipped and it's just we were all focused solely on jesus it wasn't about the business it wasn't about the ministry the upcoming schedule it was all about the holy spirit and just jesus and thank you lord for your presence so i'm so excited the woman who's running this whole thing gives me the biggest hug and she just feels to keep praying for people so i go back and i sit down and as i'm sitting there i'm so filled with joy i am overflowing i'm bubbling man i'm just giddy and so are the women Women around me except for this woman directly next to me as the woman who's leading this says that she wants to pray for this other woman who was really struggling to talk she was struggling to get her words out um, it was like we could see that there was a battle in her mind there was a battle for her voice as I seen this woman I knew that I needed to pray for her and I excitingly said, oh, can we pray for her? And the moment I did, this woman next to me looks at me and says, you should wait until she says so. <laughs> oh, when I tell you, I knew what I was dealing with. There was a woman directly seated across from me who heard it, seen it, the whole thing. And she just looked at me and I just looked at her. I just sat there and I said, Lord, I know you want me to pray for her. Can I go pray for her? Should I pray for her? And the Lord said so clearly to me, will you listen to her or will you listen to me? Yeah, it was stern. It was authoritative. And let me just tell you, I got my butt up right away. Didn't even say no to her. Didn't, didn't even address her. Got up. There was two other women that met me and we instantly started praying. Let me tell you, that woman who was up there, she could speak, she was not stuttering, her eyes were clearer, she was completely delivered. Our covering is Jesus. We have got to listen to him above anybody. And so many try to hold in the move because they don't value someone or they don't see what someone else carries. And this is why we have to be so careful to not prejudge or judge anyone because literally no one expected David yet he was anointed to be king. No one believed Noah except the rain did come. No one could see Joseph ruling over all of them yet he did. God's will is gonna go forth y'all. It doesn't matter what anybody says to you or how they treat you or whether or not they see what God is gonna do in your life. All we have to do is first make sure that we are following the leading of the Holy Spirit. And the way to know is to just seek Jesus, to have that close relationship with him, to go to him daily. He's your best friend. You talk to him about everything. You read his word, you commune with him, you take that time because as you spend time with him, you will learn to hear his voice. He teaches us that through, through many different ways, but ultimately through his word. This is what I'm talking about. That was a religious spirit that was meant to quench the spirit. We are not a rebel. We are not trying to cause an issue. We are simply 
vessels for the Lord willing to go where he says to go, regardless of who it offends.